You're generous. Compassionate. Competent. Wise. Creative. Effective. Unique. Dynamic. Professional. Knowledgeable. Helpful. Important for Orange County. Magnanimous. Caring and giving. Catalyst. Passion. Hope. Leadership. Where there's a will, there's a way. A guiding light. And a great partner in philanthropy. Well, Judy had amazing vision and is an entrepreneur in her own right to be willing to step up and try to pull together the Orange County Community Foundation. You need the best, the smartest, the most well-known, the people who have integrity, all of those wonderful things. It takes uh, a vision, tenacity, perseverance, the willingness to go out and ask people to serve that you might not have the courage to ask. And she did all of that. You had a woman with vision and a purpose uh, in Judy Swain who built this, uh, got this whole group started. I think most of those board members are still active in some way today, whether on advisory council or something of that sort. The board has always been uh, superb. They want to be on the board and I don't blame them. It's a wonderful, it's not because it's prestigious or anything, but it is in many ways. I mean, you're responsible for millions of dollars. I truly believe that uh, without Judy, there would not be an Orange County Community Foundation. I cannot imagine anyone else who could have marshaled the uh, leadership, who would have had the persistence, the relentlessness, the sheer force of will and passion and understanding of the unique role of a community foundation. And her legacy is something that uh, hasn't just been left, but will continue to grow. 18 years ago, a public-private partnership came together to address the crisis of prenatal care, or lack thereof, here in Orange County. And Orange County Community Foundation served as the incubator um, for this entire task force, which became, out of that came a business plan, which became Moms Orange County. Uh, we were proud supporters of the foundation uh, from its inception, having made a very initial uh, operating grant to support its creation. Then we followed that with a significant endowment grant to help build the unrestricted endowment. Obviously, given the roots of the James Irvine Foundation, it's absolutely right for us to be key partners with Orange County Community Foundation and to have invested in its continued growth and development. What we wanted to do was develop a self-managed giving program where our cast members would be the ones to give into this, give their, their own income into the fund and then they would have the responsibility for determining where the dollars go out to the community. You know, I'm just so proud and so thrilled that because of our wonderful partnership with the Orange County uh, Community Foundation and the very generous donations of our cast members, our employees, that over the life of the fund we've been able to give back over three million dollars to support some very, very worthwhile organizations in here in our community. The, the Casa Romanica project was an example where the Community Foundation was able to serve a very uh, important need and help that an organization achieve their objectives by being a conduit and a facilitator of uh, philanthropy for that that uh, project. You know, it's very difficult, I think, to take over from the person that started something. And uh, this was kind of Judy's baby. And then we, and then enters Shelley. Uh, and Shelley has done an absolutely fantastic job. Of community foundations that have formed in the last 20 years, we've been recognized as one of the fastest growing and after only 20 years in a field that's nearly a hundred years old we are in the top 10 percent out of more than 750 community foundations in the U.S. I think there's been a an unflagging dedication to making this community foundation the very best that it could be at every stage of its development and I think that's why so much has been accomplished in a relatively short period of time. When we look at the numbers from the inception 20 years ago to where we are now, just in the donor-advised funds and the contributions, we have probably brought in a tremendously um, 
heartwarming and incremental group of donors who may not otherwise have been given giving funds, and I look forward to that continuing for the next 20 years.